Hey guys, I'm making a scavenger hunt for you. This is something we're gonna do every day that we don't have school. Not every day, but the day after school's over. I need y'all to go outside and start surveying the land. And in five minutes, y'all have to keep track of your own time. Come back in, look around. You might just see things that are gonna be on this list and then you'll know right where to go. We're in this together. Hey guys, excuse my messy look. I've not done my face or my hair for today. I slept in because it's the first day we've had no school, uh, you know, all week long and that's how we do it back at home when we are in school. I am getting ready to give these kids a scavenger hunt while I finish up some stuff I'm working on and make them lunch. You guys have to work as a team. Here's what you can collect things in. If it doesn't fit in this bucket, it cannot count. Okay, so you will see on your paper 12 things listed and everybody has to find one of those things. Yes. Oh. Now, here's the thing. If you can't find three of something, you can find two. But if you can find three, you have to, okay? I'm going to try to make an exception that if you can't find it, find three, two will work. Four. Work as a team and scavenger! First thing is, everyone needs to find something blue. Something blue, and it has to be able to fit. Oh, I see something already. Perfect, it can fit. Mommy, I gotta leave. Good job. Uh-oh, that's a little bit big, silly. It still fits. It still fits, you're right. All right. The other kids gave up on Symphony, but she finished out the scavenger hunt strong. For something blue, Abram got this, I got this, and Julia got this. We each got a leaf, and then the next one was a toy. Abram got his water gun, I found something to a game, and this. Cool. Is something that you can clean with. First I got a mop, but that didn't fit, so I found this. Wow, you found that outside? Mm -hmm. Like a little sponge? Yeah, it That's was crazy. Like way down in the ditch. Ew. A small piece. Good of job, stuff. Symphony. I'm so proud of you. It's that was fun. fun. Okay, so is your character wearing a hat? Um, my character is not wearing a hat. So I put down all the people wearing hats. Does your character have blonde hair? No. Okay, is your character a boy? My character is not a boy. Not a boy. 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 Does your character have black hair? I'm so close. You are close. Shoot. We can ask better questions. <laughs> is your character wearing glasses? No. Is your character wearing earrings? Yes. Does your character have dark hair? No. No dark hair. They have light hair, so I put down the dark hairs. Okay. Is your character Sarah? The character Sarah, Symphony One. Is your character a boy? Yes. So I put down all the girls. Is your character a boy? No. Yeah, is your character wearing glasses? No. Does your character have blonde hair? No. Okay. Is your character Ashley? Ah, yes. You got the best two out of three, Symphony. Let's give her a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> put that in the toy bin. Mama, does this go in the game room? Mm, yeah, I can go on that couch up there. No, Symphony, that one goes in my bunk. The kids are on my last nerve. I won't stop arguing. They're being disobedient. They're calling names. So I turned off every screen in this house and I said, no more privileges today. We're cleaning up this cabin and you're gonna help. Some of them are happy, some of them aren't. Abram's having fun. Symphony's stomping. But it's necessary. Are you done with the upstairs? So you're ready for your next task? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna start with this and then make up your bed and clean up your room. So all dirty clothes go to the laundry room, dirty dishes come in here, shoes line up against the wall, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, bro, what you doing? Putting the tail back. Nice job, man. You're working hard. Sometimes you have such a good attitude about cleaning and sometimes you don't. I love it when you have a good attitude about cleaning. It's very, very nice to hear. This is the living room. Okay, this is Daddy, the living room. Does it look different? Looks a lot better, but here, I still see some yogurt trash. And I still see a dirty sock, and I see oh. daddy's trash right there. And those bears don't go here. They go somewhere else. Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> All the shoes down here need to go nice and neat over there up against the wall, the way we've been putting them by the door, okay? So okay. we got daddy's boots, mommy's boots, mommy's sandals, daddy's tennis shoes. Look, what? There's a shoe sitting here for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> shoes don't eat. Got... Are you ready for your next chore? No, I'm going to have to. We're not going in the hot tub. I'm going bathtub. We're not going in the bathtub. I'm going hot tub. We're not going in the hot tub. I'm going bathtub. We're not going in the bathtub. I'm only going in the hot tub. Oh no, I don't like this game, Jules. I'm only going in the hot tub. Okay, follow me. Take, let's go. Follow mommy into 
the kitchen. Stove. Please take this to the bathtub. Get out of here. What the heck? Who is this kid? <laughs> Samuel, you would not recognize him. He's been so happy to clean. It's so nice. Look at this little baby working. Polish it up of all these polishing pads. Basically, like Velcro. It's really crazy. It's like the, the rough side of Velcro, but down to like 1500 grit. So basically, you get it like as shiny as like a brand new piece of glass. 100 to 400, 200 to 800. Oh, it goes to 3000. Never mind. They all feel the same to me, which is really weird. That's how it sticks to the wheel right here. Yeah, weird. Can you feel the difference in them? Like this one is supposed to be a lot um, rougher. Oh yeah, definitely feel the difference in this one right here. This one's supposed to be way softer than this one. Yeah. Can't feel the difference? I can feel the difference. This one's definitely rougher. Okay. Like this one's really soft. Oh, this one's way soft. This one's rough? This one's oh, this supposed one's to be rough. the roughest. This one feels rougher to me. This one feels really rough too. These, these three feel the roughest. 100. So this one comes next after this one. This one comes after 100. This is 50. This should be the roughest one. All right, I guess you have softer hands, you can actually feel the difference. Aww. I can't feel the difference. <laughs> Last pad, that was 1500. I'm going to 3000 now. This is the last polish pad. Mom, Cindy, and Junior came over. Mm. My high point was playing Guess Who with Symphony. Oh, yeah, that was fun. All right, Amber, what was your low point? Nothing? Yeah, I had a good day. Good job. Well, especially when I got to clean up the couch and clean up the shoes. You're such a good helper, buddy. Well, apparently, it doesn't matter how much you polish it, you still can't get it clear again. As you guys can see, I have like three cloudy spots on the surface of the table and the edges. Pretty far from clear, so I found this in the shed crystal clear enamel for a protective glossy finish. And I think basically what this is gonna do is spray those fine, fine, fine scratches that you can't polish out. You know, the 1500 grit scratches filled in with this to make it crystal clear again. I did it right here on this edge. It worked out pretty good. I think I jumped into that too fast. I think I might have ruined my table. We'll wait for it to dry and then go from there. What are you guys making out here? Mud pie! And I am the judge of the mud piles. I'm sitting here watching my children play. Oh, guys, I feel like we've had a total turnaround. Turn those screens off and told them to come out and do something that they're responsible for. And then when it was time to go back to the playing, totally different attitudes. Uh, a little bit with the oldest. But yeah, we, I just stood my ground and said, too bad, this is what's happening. We're not turning on any more screens for the rest of today. All right, Abram. Let's see it. This is Abram so far. Can wow, looking good. All right, let's get a shot of Symphonies. Whoa. Symphonies is looking really cool over here. Um, I think Juliet's is gonna get the award for the most empty. So beautiful in there for me today. Gosh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, first up to give a presentation is Symphony Raider. Mine is called Moldy Cookies and Cream Pie, <laughs> and all the grass is mold, and that's the quartz are like the cream, and the mud is like the the cookies part. Put dirt on top to make it look a little more like bumpy. Good job. All right, next up is Abram Raider. It has a lot of mud. My plate did whip. It has a yellow empty wire hanging out of the side and has a bunch of wood 
um, sticking out of it, and it has some parts in there, and um, the plate is with, yeah. Okay. Ew. Both Would both contestants line up, please? Okay. The go. champion of the mud pie competition, day one. Because we're going to do this again. So if you don't win today, you have a chance to win next time. The champion of mud pie competition, Raider family number one is... Symphony Raider! No! And Abram comes in second with a very creative and yep. really rad monster yep. pie. Yep. But you'll get a chance on day two okay. to redeem yourself and win the champion title! Why does Sam think he ruined it? I bet he's thinking that because whenever you spray the, the stuff on it, it gives it kind of like a, like a grainy look. That's probably what he's thinking, but that does not look bad. It looks amazing still. All right, guys, there it is. I tried to put another coat of epoxy on there because that spray worked, but not on the surface because, you know, I didn't have enough. It's just too much surface area. You can see the different layers of it. So I went back over it with epoxy with a brush and it left the texture. Can't really see it on camera, but it didn't just leave the texture of the brush. It looks like it also picked up the uh, spray paint that was on there and left specks all inside of it. You can see some lines from the, uh, from the roller. That's the fifth coat. Okay, fifth coat, and I'm still not happy with it. A bug just flew in it again over there. That's why I ended up doing this coat, because I had to sand out bugs. Uh, I'm just going to have to call it, you know, call it and move on with another project. I've learned a lot on this table. I've spent probably way too much time on it. Anyway, we're going to tell you goodnight, guys. The kids are taking a bath. Why did you guys put all that shampoo in the tub? Look at these guys. Did y'all take my water? No, it was just a, um, it's all bubbles. <laughs> You guys are in big trouble. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get a picture of that. That's adorable. Don't forget, guys, he loves you. And remember to love each other. My Kylo loves playing Sesame, and Mommy playing Guess Who. That was your low point? Yep. So you were sad when they played that? Why? <laughs> because I, cause, cause when I go in timeout, I was, I was crying and. Oh, so timeout was your low point. And I was doing this, and then, and then I was crying almost, <laughs> and then that, I was crying about Oyo. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone.